cataractcoach.com. How to enlarge a small capsular axis. Go from this small irregular one to a nice round and centered larger capsular axis. Let me show you this case. We've got a resident who's operating here and the resident's gonna start doing the capsular axis and it's gonna end up being a small one. So poking on the forceps, a little bit of a tear here. The capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye, so you get a little bit of a better view here. But the resident's being very shy here. In fact, too shy, too timid, and making a very tiny capsular opening. This is a common problem among young residents who are just not quite confident enough. The capsular axis is going to be very small because they think that's a larger margin of safety. And the problem is, though, the cataract is very large, nine or more millimeters in diameter. And you've got to remove that now through this tiny four millimeter capsular axis. That's going to be a challenge. Also, this capsular axis here is asymmetric. It's not well centered. And what's going to happen is it's going to overlap the optic irregularly. And so this is just not ideal. So there's the complete capsular axis by the resident. That is just not going to cut it. So what do you want to do? Let's squirt the eye and evaluate. You can see there's that small capsule opening. No, we got to do better than this. So we can enlarge this existing capsule rexus. And we're going to do that very carefully by first nicking the capsule with scissors. So using the Van Ness scissors, we cut the edge of the capsule rexus very gently. And then use the forceps to tear a new margin. We tear off this extra crescent shaped tissue. So let me show you how that works. Very important to cut very tangential to the edge. There it is. Just a little tiny snip is all it needs. Now using your same capsular excess forceps, we're going to tear off a crescent shaped piece of anterior capsule. So we'll grab that piece and start to tear. And now we can continue and create the ideal opening, about five millimeters. And now it's also going to be very well centered. So tearing that off here, grabbing it again, and finishing that capsular tear. Now we'll have a normal five millimeter capsular rexus, and it's fully intact. There are no weak edges because the scissors cut tangential. Here it is, the very end of the case. You can see it's much better. Capsular bag has been inflated with viscoelastic. The IOL is now going to be delivered. And we can see the capsular opening is appropriately sized at 5 millimeters. And it's very nicely centered. So this is a technique you can definitely use. Obviously, the best solution is to make a good 5 millimeter capsular excess right off the bat, right at the very beginning. But if you end up making a very small or irregular or decentered capsular excess, you can certainly use this technique. Use a sharp instrument, either the Van Ness scissors, a tome, a tiny blade, to nick the capsular edge tangential to the tear, then grab that little strip and tear off a crescent-shaped piece of anterior capsule to create a normal capsular exit. At the very end of the case, you can see it looks great. Thanks for watching. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website, a ton of great material, a lot more than you find here on YouTube. And we have a full list of all articles and videos sorted by category. I guarantee you'll learn a lot.